Okay, let's work on problem 29 on page 325. That's section 3.4. The instructions say determine where the graph of the function is concave up and where it is concave down. Also find all inflection points of the function. So, how about tan 2x from negative pi to pi? Okay, so I have f of x equals tan 2x from negative pi to pi. And I'm going to first off go about taking that second derivative to determine concavity. So the first derivative, using the chain rule, is the secant squared of 2x times the derivative of the inside, which is 2. Now I have to take the derivative of the outside sorry, the derivative, the second derivative, the derivative of the derivative, I'm going to use the chain rule here, that's 2 secant 2x to the 1 times the derivative of secant 2x, which is secant 2x tangent 2x. Now, uh, that's times the derivative of the inside piece, 2, and then I have a constant multiple 2. Okay, all those 2's don't matter a whole heck of a lot because I'm asking the question, where is this derivative that we could write as 8 secant squared 2x tan 2x? I can ask the question, where is that equal to 0 or where is that undefined? Okay, where is that equal to zero or where is that undefined? What I think I'll do to determine that is I'll write secant and tangent in terms of the simpler trig functions maybe I have better intuition for. Okay, so how might I go about doing that? I might go, uh, let's say secant is one over cosine. Tangent is sine over cosine. So I need to know, hey, where is cosine equal to zero? Well, cosine is equal to zero at theta equal to pi halves plus multiples of pi. Now the issue is that my theta here is equal to 2x. Okay. So how do I figure out what multiples would happen there? Well, I kind of need to divide everything by 2. That's pi over 4. Notice if you plugged pi over 4 into here, we'd get 2 times pi over 4, which is pi halves. Cosine of pi halves would be 0. So that would be a 0, a place where the denominator is undefined. Then we have k pi over 2. Okay, so the big question is, which of those fall in my interval between negative pi and pi? Okay, well, obviously pi fourths does, and three quarters pi does. So three fourths pi, pi fourths. If I had a negative a half from here, that would be negative pi fourths. If I had negative two there, I'd have negative 3 pi fourths. Those are places the denominator is 0, so that is undefined, 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 undefined. Okay, and uh, maybe I should have that hash mark a little farther right, but you get the idea. Okay, where is sine of 2x 0? Well, Sine is 0, where theta, the input angle, is equal to a multiple of pi. So 0, pi, 2 pi. So if I have 2x there, that's the same as x equal to k pi over 2. So any half multiple of pi, such as 0, such as pi halves, such as pi, 0, 0, 0, negative pi halves and negative pi. Okay, so 
this has a lot of places where the derivative is zero, a lot of places, sorry, the second derivative is zero, a lot of places where the second derivative is undefined. My job is to figure out which one of the which ones of these it's concave up between and which ones it's concave down between. Let's start with sort of a simple place. Let's start with something greater than zero but less than pi fourths. Okay? Greater than zero but less than pi fourths. The nice thing there is sine is positive and cosine is positive. So everything inside is positive, that's positive. What happens if I go past here to something greater than pi fourths but less than pi halves? Notice that at pi fourths, cosine goes, cosine of 2 pi fourths goes past 0. So now this is going to be a negative territory here. Uh, I have negative, negative, negative. This is still positive, so I have three negatives. That'll be negative. Uh, we could play the same game in this interval. Uh, now, this interval. Uh, what's going to happen is cosine will still be negative, but you can check a value there. Sine will also be negative. That means we'll have four negatives, which is a positive. Past this point, notice cosine becomes zero. That's why we're undefined. Then it becomes positive. Then we have positive, 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 and a negative. So you can see that these are alternating. Now that pattern continues over on the other side. So, what does that mean? That means we are concave up from negative pi to negative 3 pi fourths, from negative pi halves to negative pi fourths, from 0 to pi fourths, from pi halves to 3 pi fourths. And we're concave down on the other intervals. So I'm concave down right here, negative 3 pi fourths to negative pi halves, negative pi fourths to 0, pi fourths up to pi halves, and thrillingly from 3 pi fourths up to pi. There you have it. Now the question that it ends with is find all inflection points of the function. Now an inflection point can't be a place where um, the function is undefined, so scrolling back up to the function, where is tangent undefined? Well, if you look at tangent, remember tangent looks like this. Those are all places that tangent is undefined. So tangent is undefined at all the places the second derivative is undefined. Those cannot be inflection points. However, the function is defined at all of these places that the zero, that the function is zero. So inflection points, uh, those are at the edge. So outside of that, we don't really know what the concavity is. But we have inflection points at negative pi halves, zero pi halves. And if you looked at the outside here, we'd also have them at negative pi and pi. There you go.